Hello friends and welcome back to Player's Companion. I'm Haley. And I'm Dustin. And today we are testing out another round of the Speed Paints. They made a little mini set of pastels for the 2.0 version and we decided to try them out and see how they look. We're very curious. I've been very excited to have some pastel colors. I love pastel palette in general so that's something I had to get and we'll see how good they are. I'm curious how pastel are gonna look because there's a lot of stuff that says it's pastel and it doesn't really look pastel. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. So as from what I've seen pictures of online, they seem to look pretty good. But those are also usually online renders that could be touched up, yeah. who knows. Um, but yeah, with the last set we saw the new colors. We did a review recently, uh, we'll put a link below. Uh, we did a review of most of the colors are a good chunk of them from the new 2.0 starter set. And then uh, that had a couple of the metallics in it. Um, there are also uh, a metallic, a full metallic set. The pastels did not get a full set of their own, but there are six different colors you can buy as individuals that came out um, after the other colors were released. So yeah, as Haley was saying, we haven't got a chance to play with them yet, so we will see. We both have a, a handful of aquatic themed pieces we're going to paint up. Um, she has a lighter primer than mine. We'll see how my guys yeah. look with the darker primer. Uh, they still turn out good because pastels are famously super light, you mm -hmm. know, so they might end up being too dark looking, but yeah. we'll find out. So uh, for my selection, so these guys are from the um, Attack of the Crab Archon, Island of the Crab Archon set from Steamforge Games. Mm -hmm. uh, they make some very nice well priced me as I go on about these guys quite a bit, how they're the best price per mini that is right now. And uh, this never ending story two looking guy is gonna become a, uh, a fierce pastel warrior here pretty soon. Hopefully the darker primer doesn't get in the way of that. So I'm doing the new, it's an octopus, but it's like a really big octopus um, from the Critical Role set. I uh, was thinking that it might look kind of cool tie-dye, but now I'm afraid that the tie-dye might look too patchy with the paints. So we'll see what I end up doing with it. So right away, we knew that the gray, the darker primer would maybe be kind of an issue on these guys, but it's having an interesting effect where it's kind of making the guys reverse of what speed paints usually look like. Typically, um, the darker colors are in the grooves because the paint pools and then it's lighter in the flatter surfaces. But in this case, it's actually kind of a reverse of that. The pastel color is pooled into the grooves and covers the darker color. And on the flatter surfaces, the dark color comes through. So it also comes like a like a Tron effect. Yeah. Where, that, where the line work. We'll see how it actually dries though. Yeah, it's not what I was but going for. But it's interesting. For, but I, don't, I don't hate it. So we'll see. I'm gonna try one of these guys with blue on them too and see if it does the same, yeah. the same effect. It definitely looks like a monster. Definitely like a monster. Yeah, so that's <laughs> good. You know the difference between mine and yours, what they're looking like, because we both use pink right now. This is this is Barbenheimer right here. I've got the true pink. You've got <laughs> the edgy dark color. <laughs> All right, so, so far, I do not like this experiment here um, <laughs> with the speed paint pastel on the darker gray does not look great. What I thought or hoped would happen would be that the uh, speed paint being what it is, what it normally does, would fill in the cracks, the low lights, in a way that I could paint over it and with a darker color but really doesn't show up very well. Like the blue doesn't hardly shows up on the gray at all. And now the pink kind of works for that. The pink's definitely better. I'm still not really a fan of how it looks. Um, which is interesting because like the contrast paints, I usually use on a gray sear um, primer and they work fine, but just the speed paints are not doing it in this case. So I'm going to give up on this experiment and I'm going to move on instead to a lighter primed figure. I've picked up this Etten. Uh, we will name it Smurgle Murgle and it will become our pastel colored Etten. So far my guy looks like he's covered in egg yolk. 
I guess we'll see how that dries. He does. <laughs> Peen has decided that she is hoarding all of the brushes. I had to cover them up, and that still doesn't seem to deter her. She has an obsession with brushes. She comes <laughs> running out of the bathroom at night having stolen Haley's makeup brushes, no matter where I hide them. Don't you? Yeah, don't you? What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't need that. Yes, I do. Mm. Of course. So I got the bottom done. So I did so far the pink for the little suckers and then the salmon color. Um, so far, I like that it kind of looks, it has like a watercolor effect. Like I feel like these colors, I don't know, they don't necessarily blend together, um, but they they like go together a little bit better, if that makes sense. Like they look like they could kind of blend. There's not too much of a distinct difference, I think, because they're both light colors. Um, the problem I am having, I don't know how well you can tell on camera, the, um, the colors show up pretty light on the, the highlight part. I feel like you have to do a couple layers, which I don't really care to do that much time for the details, but it's just something to note if you're interested in these. I like the way that it looks, like the color is pretty cool, um, but if you want to be like really detailed and not really m miss spots and have more color, uh, these might not be the best. So we finished number one, this Etten here. I used three of the pastels on him, uh, the yellow on his body, and then uh, you can see a couple of colors in his beard. I went for kind of a uh, hot grandpa thing because he's got a man bun, got that gray hair, but he's still got some, he's got enough gumption to, to dye his beard green and purple, you know, get some attraction. Uh, those are nice pastels. The purple's a little watery. Has kind of a hard time really sticking to into the cracks and really showing up. Uh, the green's real nice. The yellow, I don't think is very pastel. It's a nice color. Yeah. It's very bright, it's very eggy. I think he looks more like that yellow bastard from Sin City than pastel, honestly. Uh, it's, a, it's a very bright, sharp color though. I covered him with some mud and blood. So it looks all right. I think the piece is pretty good, but I don't know. Pastels, are, it's an interesting mix. Like the green, solid color stays on real nice. Purple, little watery. Yellow. Not pastel. Yeah, it blends real well. It pops real nice, but it's not really what I think would be pastel. So I don't know. Interesting. But uh, again, this guy came out pretty quick, so I still like the speed paints. Actual speed. He painted up in about half an hour, 45 minutes, so. Definitely the lighter colored uh, base or primer works better than the gray. These guys have dried appropriately at this point, and I see the gray really comes through them. And again, has kind of a weird highlight, low light kind of swap. On. It's not necessarily a bad effect, but it's not what I was going for on here. All right, so here's how my octopus came out at the end. I'm pretty happy with it. I really like the pastels. I also was surprised I was able to just here in between the tentacles, I put a little bit of blue and it just kind of darkened the purple a little bit. I was really happy with that effect because normally you can't really blend the speed paints. I also did it on the face. I might've put a little bit too much purple over, but there's just enough that it makes the face kind of stand out a little bit. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. I will note that, like Dustin said, the purple does kind of not stick, but it was it was weird. Well, on the head, the tentacles were okay. Like, it wasn't as great as the colors down here. It was weird, but I managed to make it work. Like, I think it looks fine. Um, and then his little ocean platform that I made, I used the uh, pastel seafoam. Thought it was appropriate. And then it'll look really nice once everything's totally dry on top. I love it. Okay, so one last bit of experimentation and comparison here. We got this Etten here who is now done uh, with his bright, bright, bright yellow and his war paint and his mud and blood and everything. Dye in his beard, show off those pastel colors. And then I don't know, just comparison. There's the 
<laughs> the normal Eden, uh, much more dour fellow, that guy. As for these fellows over here, uh, they're fully dried. You can see the gray really still bleeds through. And again, they have kind of a reverse effect where you can only really see the colors in the uh, the cracks, the bevels, which would normally be the um, darker color zone on a speed paint. But instead here it is the lighter or poppy color zone. So it's a different effect. It's not terrible, but just for comparison here, I just want to show. So I used, um, grant you, it's a slightly lighter gray, the gray sear primer for, and used the contrast paint Doomfire Magenta, yeah, which is like their pink. Obviously it's a darker color, but you can maybe see how well it covers over the primer and there's no like bleed through or anything from the colors underneath, which I think just demonstrates that these guys are a little watery. These, these weren't watered down at all. That's straight out of the tube. You know, and it still needs a few coats to cover. So definitely need to use a light, light, the lightest primer you can probably to get that color to pop in the way that it does on this guy. Uh, the purple is a little watery. I had a hard time getting it to really fill in with deep color on the beard here. But as Haley showed, it is very possible on that octopus. She put enough on there that made a nice color splash. And the green came out well. The yellow is very strong, though not really pastel. So yeah, we'll review kind of some, some hits, some misses on those colors overall. All right, we are back after experimenting with paint. Fun experimentation. What do you got? I really liked how this came out. Like I said, the quality wasn't the best, but I liked the end result. Like, it just was a, it took a little bit more work to get it there, but I really liked the um, purple. I'm happy, like I said, that I can actually kind of blend them a little bit and get a little bit more of an effect uh, instead of just having to paint it straight. So that was nice. And just the, the colors all together ended up being really fun. I love this because this is my favorite color in general. I just love how it turned out. I do like your blending that you had as well there. I think it would look nice also on kind of a spacey thing, or kind of like a, yeah. like a shimmery sky feel effect. It yeah, be some like skull a, stuff. Yeah, or just like a, like a night walker figure or something like that, like they're made of stars. That uh, would be a good I also piece think well. that these colors would be really good for races that have different skin tones. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, because like the blue I still think is too dark for like the typical depiction of an air genasi. But this would be a really good tiefling color for like a purple tiefling mm -hmm. or mind flayers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mind flayers definitely like that color for sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I had quite as much luck on my guys, honestly. I tried them first on a darker primer, like I said, and just did not turn out well. I think they're too thin, maybe even thinner than the normal yeah, speed I paints agree. with their yeah. lighter color. And so they, the darker primers do not work. Sometimes you can get different effects by using like any of the other paints, like contrast paint with a darker primer. Cause like, if you look at Citadel's webpage, they yeah. have them laid out. Like this is what the colors look like on different colors yeah. of primer. Darker gray is one of them and it does not work with these guys speed paint wise. So, mm -hmm. uh, but switching back to the whites again, use this guy. I think. It depends on the color you have. The purple is thin, but can be applied in enough depth to look really good. Um, the the green, the sea foam, wasn't it? This one? Yeah. This is the sea foam, yeah. Foam, yeah. That, one, that one looks really good mm -hmm. uh, in general and is about the right application thickness and everything. The yellow is super thick and spreads well and is nice, but man, that is not a pastel is a good paint for itself, but I would not call that pastel. No. This is more akin to a SpongeBob yellow. But I say that it's not a bad paint, but I just wouldn't, I don't know. So the pastel is kind of a mixed bag. They're a little yeah. watery, but you can use them to a good effect. I think, you know, I know you were really excited for them. Mm -hmm. So I think if they're one that you're really looking forward to, you can make them work for yeah. sure. But again, like I, I brought up already that the orange, you really see, look at that, you can really see like the white, the primer underneath it mm -hmm. still. I you just, have a super light primer. Yours is almost white. Yeah, I just didn't care to touch it up, but just be aware that if you want to make it look good, you're going to have to do multiple layers when you have like details like this with a bunch of suckers, it's gonna take a while. So I was like, nope, this is good. <laughs> this is good enough. Yeah, and I said that might be fair because honestly, in our experience, a lot of the more pastel color acrylic paints usually suck anyway. They're That's typically yeah. very clumpy or- or um, Watery. Yeah, watery and just yeah. don't cover well. So honestly, kind of par for the course with the lighter pigments anyway. I think given that yeah. our results are probably pretty good. Yeah. 
All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. If you made it to the end of the video, leave the paintbrush emoji. But otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.